In today's video, we're taking a look at how to fix Christmas lights, easy and simple. This is so easy, anyone could do. Everything that we use on the video, we're gonna leave a link on the description. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. That does help us out a lot, thank you. So you woke up today, and like every other year, it seems like the lights go bad. It's like the Grinch is always lurking around this time. Don't worry, here at the Statterbox team, we've got your back. And on this video, we're gonna see three different things that may go wrong. And the first usual suspect is, you plug in the lights and they don't even turn on. That usually means Means that the fuse has gone bad and we can find the fuse right on the plug and to make sure that we live another day we go ahead and disconnect the lights because the last thing you want before you get your gifts is to die we're gonna see a little tab that we can pull down you can usually do this with your fingers or you can use a flathead screwdriver or any tool of that sort right on the plug you're gonna see the amp information for your particular light and usually for the mini lights that's three amps in other ones it could be 5 amps, 7 amps or even more. Once we get access to the fuse you might need a special tool to remove it or a small flathead screwdriver. Now that we have the fuse out we go to that drawer where we throw everything that seems it might be important one of these days. In there we get the little bag that comes with the light. If not you can always order on the interwebs. We'll leave links on the description. And on this bag you're gonna see replacement light bulbs as well as fuse you can always verify if the fuse is burnt. If you notice you only have one burnt, then you only replace one. If you notice you have both of them burnt, you can replace both of them. But let's say you look at your lights and you notice you have some of them working and the others went on strike. You already replaced the fuse and nothing has changed. The workers don't want to come back even with a raise. The way that you go about this problem depends up to you. If you want to start right in the middle like we're going to do, or you can start from the end of the non-working area and work your way up. In this case, you can use a Christmas light tester or a non-contact voltage detector, which is the one that we're gonna use today. And just like the name implies, we're basically gonna verify if any energy is coming to the bulb. We're gonna start a few bulbs before it stops turning on and so we don't get a false reading we're gonna separate the bottom wires from the two that go in the bulb and we're basically only gonna test the ones that are going to the light and we're gonna keep repeating this until we find the culprit once we notice that one of the wires has the almighty power and the other one doesn't that could be a good sign that we found Waldo in this case we notice that one of the wires has the power and the other one doesn't we're gonna go ahead and remove the bulb we can use our nails to pull it from the slot and up or you could gently use a needle nose pliers holding it by the plastic and knock the actual bulb and pull it out. A pro tip verifying the little wires coming out from the bottom is the first thing that you want to do. We can see in this case that one of them is missing so that's why we don't have a connection. So what we like to do before we just place a new bulb we want to take out the bulb verify that the small wires are still intact or not. If they are we just straighten them back, put them through the hole, and bend them sideways. If you notice yours are missing both or just one, then placing a new bulb is the way to go. And basically what these wires do is provide energy from one side to the other, making a full connection. In some cases, you only get the bulb, so you would have to do this manually and insert it on the small jacket. If yours comes with the bulb and the jacket already in place, then you just want to reverse engineer and place the bulb with the jacket on the socket. Once we insert it, we want to verify that we're placing it correctly. Usually the wires to the side or you'll notice that the bulb won't go in. You'll notice the little grooves on the socket have to match the grooves on the bulb jacket. But let's say in your case you only have one bulb out or many in between. But you notice that the ones to the right and to the left are working correctly. Then in that case you might just have a bad bulb. We want to use the same technique as before, removing the old old bulb and just like before verifying that the grooves of the socket are the same with the light bulb jacket and insert it. And now you've done it. You become a master of the light. You that control energy have regained control of your kingdom. You can pat yourself on the back for a job well done. Most importantly here at the Statterbox team we wish you the best of holidays. We love each and one of you. Don't forget if you like the video please give us a thumbs up that really helps. If you have any questions place them in the comment section below either someone on the Statterbox team or 
where someone on the YouTube community can help you out with an answer. Don't forget to subscribe, follow us on social media. Thank you for watching and here's a link to our latest video.